fever is not your enemy fever is your friend fever becomes your enemy because you view fever as your enemy you want to kill the enemy you know any enemy you want to kill right no you you have a problem and the problem is you are being schooled to believe that for every ill there is a pill i like good human beings irrespective of who they are what they are what level they are you know in my university i used to like there was an attendant in that lift he was the best human being that i had had met and i used to always like him one day for some reason somebody didn't like him they wanted to dismiss him so the registrar's order dismissing him was on my table so i said why dismiss this man so i summoned him at my office you know normally a peon is not supposed to come to the vice chancellor's office and if he comes there he'll shiver in his pants so he thought he will get some real you know mouthful of uh, so i told him sit down he said no 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 i can't sit in a chair i said what's wrong you are born like me you will die like me in between why this difference maybe if you had the same opportunity that i had you would have been higher than me i am only vice chancellor you would have been probably the president of india who knows then he was still shivering then i said look if you don't sit in this chair i will dismiss you according to this order but if you sit i might promote you then he sat down then i asked him how did this get generated then he said how he said uh, you know colleagues who didn't like him working too fast you know, too hard etc etc created lot of problems so built a big fight that's how it happens in organizations anyway to cut the long story short i promoted him even today the university says he is the best person that they have in the university human humane compassionate loving what more do you want so we want good people like sucheta and all of you here and i met her boyfriend today another good human being so you know he is a nice boss who is a nice man and he spoke so well about me but all good people have good things to tell about others so don't believe it don't believe it no all these people have come here to you know why you have a problem and the problem is you are being schooled to believe that for every ill there is a pill right now if you if you read my article in the british medical journal which can be got free on the internet called there is no pill for every ill but there is an ill following every pill did you get that so don't be very very enthusiastic in taking a tablet a little while ago i was lecturing at the hinduja hospital and their highest person sri chand's daughter was in the audience so she came and said doctor you see when you have a fever that crocin gives you so much of relief you say Uh, you know do you think that we should not take crocin i told her it is a very good thing lady because you are you are schooled to believe that there is a quick fix already now fever is not your enemy fever is your friend fever becomes your enemy because you view fever as your enemy you want to kill the enemy you know any enemy you want to kill right no you use the body in jesus christ's terminology love thy enemy you love fever narkardi saab or kekri saab or pai ma madam will tell you there was a time when we were students we were producing fever to treat syphilis syphilis was a dreaded disease then it was killing people and it was like today's you know whatever you want to call it big diseases we used to call it as syphilis and gonorrhea were the surgeon general of the whole thing and what we used to do as student boil milk from the milk vendor in the skin department and take it in a syringe and inject it to patients with neurosyphilis within about 5 minutes that fellow will shiver every muscle will shiver and his temperature will go to about 106 and then it will come down and it it treats his uh, so fever is a friend and it is there because the body wants your temperature to go up to help it to fight nothing is done in this world without reason but our reduction is to reason there is a cause for everything cause effect thing is the biggest folks and biggest false thing that we are made to believe that for fever there is a cause this is very simple thinking because our forefathers used to think 
when you get smallpox it's the wrath of the goddess if you get tetanus the demon has hit you if you get cancer some some other person cause effect they are right.